Okay, we have the database installed, now it's time to create a listener. Oracle database runs under a client-server architecture and the listener is a process that runs on the server site. It receives and manages incoming connection requests, then hand them to the database software we installed on the previous video. We are going to have the client and server in, in the same machine, but regardless of that, we need the listener. Uh, this is going to be quick and easy, but if you face problems here, like errors regarding no connectivity or port numbers not accessible, most likely it has to do with your security settings. If that's the case, please go back in, uh, to the third part of this playlist and double check if you have your loopback adapter configured properly and your firewall is disabled. So start your VM, log in as student as usual and open a terminal window. Once again, let's run the xhost command as root to enable Oracle user to open a window from the command line. Then log in as Oracle and change the directory to dollar sign oracle underscore home slash bin. We can do that because we have set the environment variables on bash profile on part 5. Execute Oracle's net configuration assistant by running dot slash netca. Basically, we are going to just hit the next button until we can hit the finish button. There's no need to change absolutely anything on this installation, and we are going to accept the default values for everything, including listener name and part number. So that was quite easy and now we can proceed and create a database instance on the next video.